Merci. Let's begin. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Welcome to Toastmasters guests and my dear uh, Toastmaster of the day. We are about to begin our series on Leadership Summit. Today is our third session and the theme is Digital Leadership. With great honor and privilege, Chalk and Duster Toastmasters Club introduces our guest keynote speaker for today. Mansi Thakkar is a young dynamic leadership trainer with a vision to train young entrepreneurs to become extraordinary leaders, helping them achieve business growth with leadership skills by education. Mansi is an IT engineering graduate from Pillai College of, Un of Engineering, New Panvel, Masters in Leadership Science from Chanakya International Institute of Leadership Studies. She also pursued her certification in public speaking along with her graduation and is a professional trainer and speaker. She is the director of training and development at Winplus Private Limited and creator at Big Brain Co, a leadership and a leadership coach and podcaster. She believes digital leadership is about building a personal brand and creating an impact for personal and professional growth. So with a round of applause, let's welcome our keynote speaker for today, Mansi Thakkar. Thank you so much for this wonderful introduction and I welcome all the participants. And first of all, I would want to thank Mr. Raj, who has been very kind to, you know, give me this honor to speak at Toastmasters Club. And uh, it's like a dream come true, why? Because this platform has given a lot of opportunities to a lot of speakers and I'm really blessed for this opportunity. And I, I wanted to add value in today's session. Um, and I'm, for, I'm sorry for my throat. It is, I'm, I was infected with the throat infection. So... Uh, I could not take the session yesterday, but uh, and I had committed to Mr. Raj, so I said no today. Anyhow, I will deliver uh, my session. Um, can I now share the screen for my presentation? Sure. Yes. Yeah. All right. So let me see. Yeah. Let me know if my <coughs> screen is visible. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. At any point of time, if I'm stuck somewhere or if the PPT is not clear, you can just uh, stop me and let me know. Yeah. And in the end, we'll take up all the question answers. Also, what I will be doing is I'll be sharing this PPT in the PDF format with Mr. Raj so that all the participants can, you know, uh, have a backup with them. Now, this is my introduction. Uh, I would not take much time on this, but I would just say one thing is that uh, in leadership, the very first lesson which I have learned be it digital leadership or be it any kind of leadership is that you have to constantly keep on learning. And when you keep on learning, you attract a lot of opportunities. Now, today's topic is digital leadership. This was a very nice quote which I came across and I want to start my session with this quote. The goal is not to be good at social media. The goal is to be good at business because of social media. And today what we are going to learn is how we as leaders can improve ourselves, improve our personal branding and how can our personal branding give us more business. And post-pandemic, this has become very imperative. But the problem is because of lack of awareness, because of lack of knowledge, we are unable to execute. We have social media you know, accounts with us, but probably we don't know how to use it more effectively, more organically. Today, I'll be teaching you a lot of things which usually you won't find it anywhere. Reason being, there are top creators, top YouTubers, top Instagram uh, profile creators. But what happens is everybody goes for paid marketing. That is good. But today what I want to teach you is if you are a startup, if you are an individual, even without spending money, you can still create a brand. Because not every startup might be able to spend initially, right? And a lot of people want to create their own business, but they don't have enough funding. So today what we are going to learn is how can you organically grow on your social media with right strategies? This is one of my favorite quotes by my mentor. And any leadership always depends on your decision making, on your thinking ability. This is from the book of my mentor inside Chanakya's mind. The first quality of leadership is to think correctly and clearly. From such clarity comes good decision making capacity and sound decisions have impact on everyone. Now what happens is 
you know, when we take decisions, be it social media, be it about our business, be it about our team, we are very random sometimes. It's good to be random, but it will not work always. So what is what, what we have to do is we have to brainstorm a lot. We have to think a lot. And if you don't have a research mindset, if you don't do research on your own, you won't get the best strategies. Now, the very first learning of today, please, please ensure you have a research mindset. And second, from today till the coming 90 days, choose any two platforms. A lot of people misguide us saying that you have to be on all social media, all platforms. It's good to have profile on every social media. But if you cannot be consistent on at least two platforms, how will you create a brand? Be it personal brand, be it professional brand. So I would say currently, if you are a freelancer, if you are a startup owner, if you are an entrepreneur, even if you are a working professional, out of these three, these three are the top uh, th three social media platforms, which can give you very good leverage. LinkedIn, Instagram, and YouTube. So from today till the coming 90 days, can you choose at least two platforms wherein consistently you will post? Let me give you an example. If you are on LinkedIn, say from morning 9.30 to 11.30 is the ideal time to post. And you can post between Monday to Friday. Weekends, people don't prefer LinkedIn. Weekends, you can post more on Instagram. Instagram from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m., <coughs> the reels can be posted because that's the highest watch time. And in the morning, say probably 9 to 11, because when people are traveling, they want to scroll through Instagram. YouTube, today attention span has gone down. People want short content, a lot of information in a very short span of time. I am not saying that don't create long videos. Create long videos. But can you create short videos? Can you give information within 30 to 90 seconds? And if you can do that, you will have an excellent branding in place. So the first learning is have a research mindset. Second, from today till the next 90 days, please ensure from these three, any two platforms, you are consistent with your content. Now, in digital leadership, it's good to have social media consultant. It's good to have multiple strategies. But the very first thing is if you want to create your own personal brand or if you want to, you know, dominate the leadership in terms of the digital world, you have to do a lot of research. Till date, from the last two years, from the time of pandemic, every day, 30 minutes I spend on research. It's about, you know, reading some other books, probably listening to some podcasts, probably understanding how other YouTube channels, how other Instagram profiles are growing organically. Now, what happens is because everybody goes for paid, paid marketing, even we want to go. You can have a budget for paid marketing. But when there is option of organic growth, why not? And when you opt for that, you know, people will connect more with you. I'm not saying don't go for paid marketing. But initially, with just your investment of time and adding right value, you can create excellent value and you can create excellent branding for yourself completely organic. But when this will happen, when you research and please understand a person with one lakh followers is adding equal value to a person with one million subscribers or followers. A lot of times we get trapped in the numbers. We always judge people by how many likes and followers they have. It's good. But you know, even a person with say 1,000 followers can also add value. And maybe today they are on 1,000 followers or maybe 1 lakh followers. Tomorrow they can multiply. So never ever judge a person by their current followers or likes or comments. If they are adding consistent value, let me tell you, all big content creators have created value for 700 days. That is nearly two years. Their account has not boosted in one day or overnight. No. And they also have been doing trial, error, research, understanding what the audience wants. They are connecting with the audience. And when you connect with the audience, you will be able to rethink on your strategy. Three R's for being a game changer. Research, rethink and recognize. Now, every day for 30 minutes when you do research, you will get a lot of inputs. Maybe somebody is, you know, only posting on LinkedIn. Maybe somebody is only posting videos on Instagram. Maybe somebody is experimenting with different languages. Now, please understand regional languages or regional channels are coming up. Even in the national education policy of 2020, which was released, even the government.
government had said that regional channels will come up. So maybe right now you are creating a content in English. Tomorrow you can create content in your own channel, in your own language. And that might have quality audience. Do not judge people by the number of followers. Even thousands of thousands of followers can give you business. Maybe you can sell them th something through your story or through your videos and they will buy because they are genuine. And when you rethink on your strategy, when you give them something of value, when you have something different every now and then, they will be connected to you. But if you are not consistent, you will be replaced. Again, I repeat, if you are not consistent on the social media platforms, you will be easily replaced. And third R is recognize. Please understand you have to recognize patterns. What we make mistakes is we follow the trend. That's good. But why can't you identify the trend? Example, if it is a trend of videos, in the sense making videos, I should not run behind text post or blog post. I should be with the trend, correct? Similarly, anybody who's into digital leadership, you have to identify, you have to recognize patterns. Now, example, if today Instagram or say, now TikTok got banned in India, but there are apps like Moj, MX, Takata, people want small things in their less attention, correct? That does not mean I don't create long to form videos. And this, even YouTube started. Today, if I'm going to type anybody's name, if I'm not finding their videos, how will I trust the person? People trust videos, right? Because you're able to connect with the person. So that is why what you have to do is you have to recognize patterns. And all this will happen only when you spend 30 minutes of research every single day. Minimum 30 minutes. One of the finest learnings of leadership is about decision making and strategy. But this I would want to tell you, it's always good to experiment. A man never fails, only his strategy fails. Please never ever, you know, have self-doubts or think that, okay, you know, something did not work or probably, you know, your friends have more followers than you or some other business has grown a lot and you have not grown a lot. No, that's okay. At least you try. But you know, that trial error, that experimenting, that research will give you the right strategy. What we do is we try to copy others. Please understand on social media, if you copy others, people will come to know. And what? Because it's a trend, we all want to copy it because, you know, it's going to give millions of views. But are you recognizable? Are you memorable? Is your brand recollectable? Can people recall your brand? No. Then how is it that you are copy pasting somebody's strategy? And when you do research, you will have multiple backup options. You will have multiple strategies wherein what will happen is, say example, today you are posting on LinkedIn. Say for 90 days, you did not create a brand on LinkedIn. Okay, at least you got some following on LinkedIn. I would say the best thing to start is start with your WhatsApp status. Every day, every day, you will have at least one value added content posted on your WhatsApp status. You know, I'll tell you one funny thing. People say they are very busy, but they have time to watch your WhatsApp status. The moment you post something on WhatsApp, the busiest people are the ones who are going to view it first. And please stop posting your personal life on WhatsApp. If it's your business number, if you really want people to watch your status and make it more recallable, please post something of value. Promote your business. There is no shame in marketing about your work. But if you keep on only selling something, people will block you. Create value. Create value, then you try to sell. That is okay. But immediately, if you only keep on, you know, posting about buy this, buy that, people will not buy, people will block you. And make it a routine for the coming 90 days. First, start with your WhatsApp status. Every day, whatever work you're doing, please post on WhatsApp. Please post testimonials, feedbacks, maybe now blogging initially was there. Now it is vlogging, video logging. You are going somewhere, you know, talk to people, make it more relatable. Now what will happen is people will give you feedback on WhatsApp. Oh, your video was very nice today. Oh, you did this program today. Oh, people are, you know, trying to recognize you. And the same people who have saved your number will come back and give you business or they might give you some references. What is happening is you are hammering your name what happens is for the coming 90 days, I'm sorry, for the coming 90 days, when every day you are posting on WhatsApp, your name appears. That means at least once you cross that person's mind. Now, what happens is whenever there is a requirement and because 
you know, in the subconscious mind, your name has been fed very nicely because of your everyday WhatsApp status. Your name will appear first in their mind when they will have some requirement. And please understand, seeing is believing. In the Hindi, there's a saying, you know, jo dikta hai, wo dikta hai. So you have to keep on posting your work. But if you keep on posting those sad songs and, you know, <coughs> showing your personal life and how emotionally low you are today, you are displaying your weakness. Maybe if it's not your business number, then it's your personal choice. But if it is your business number, I'm sorry, you cannot post such things which will, you know, ruin your image or your perception. I think there's a question in the chat box. Uh, yeah, okay. I'll take all the questions in the end, for sure. So please understand, do not post <laughs> anything personal, <coughs> sorry, on your WhatsApp status. But something value added every day <coughs> for the next 90 days, you will see the magic. And then when you post videos, when you post stories, your own people will give you feedback. And then what you can do is, then experiment, maybe LinkedIn, maybe Instagram, maybe YouTube. But please understand, it's the video economy. If you don't create videos, if you only create those animation videos, it will not help for your branding. You have to speak in the video. Doesn't matter how you look. Doesn't matter if you wear branded clothes or not. No, your content has to be branded. That means it has to add value. And if you do that, you see, you will find the right strategy. A successful digital transformation requires transformational leadership approach. Now, the reason I'm saying it has to be transformational is because every business came on online in the pandemic. Freelancers got very good opportunities. Personal branding became a big thing. Today, we recognize people by name and then after the organization. It's because maybe their videos are coming up. It's coming in lakhs of views. A lot of people are, you know, coming and taking selfies with them. They are getting a lot of other invites. Everywhere you will see their posters is because they are recognizable and people are trusting their content. So what happens is when you <laughs> want to build a brand, you need to have the right tools with you. And by transformational leadership, what we understand is, First of all, you should know what tools are available. You cannot be, you know, doing everything manually. There are automated resources available. Second of all, you have to learn technology. A lot of times we update our apps, but we don't update our mindset. We don't update our strategies. And that is not a right thing. Third and most important, please, please value your time. A lot of people complain we don't have time to create videos. Nowadays, attention span has gone so less. Even if you make a 10-15 second video, people will watch it. But of course, you cannot add something of value in 8 to 10 seconds unless it's like a quote or probably one or two tips that has been already written. That will work. But when you will speak, it creates trust. It builds trust. So what you have to do is update <coughs> all the apps. That's good. But be updated with technology. Most important, please update your mindset. If you work with the old mindset, you will not get new results. One of my favorite learnings, and I would highly emphasize on this because, you know, a lot of consultants, they will tell you that, you know, they will give you the best strategy, but they don't reveal the secret. Even if in the entire session today, even if you take this as a learning, trust me, in the coming 90 days, you will have revenue generated in your business. And more than that, you will grow organically. I am not against paid ads, but I feel that, you know, when we have awareness of organic growth as well, why not? Yes, then once you start getting revenue, you create a budget for, you know, paid ads also. Or probably developing a good product for your business, maybe experimenting new things. But if you don't try organic way of growing, you will be stuck somewhere. The most secretive part of being a you know successful digital leader is this. Every content creator knows human psychology. I'll give you one resource in the chat box. Okay. Again, it's free of cost on YouTube. Please go through Mark Gunger videos. Surprisingly, this person was a priest for 60 years of his life. And he was very good in counseling. And somebody came and told him that, you know, why don't you, you know, become an official counselor? And he said, no, I'm a priest. I can't be a counselor. But he was saving marriages. But then he realized that, yeah, I'm good in speaking. I think I should upgrade my skills. And for two years, he only learned human psychology. 
in the coming five years, he saved 65,000 plus divorce cases. You can go and check about him. This is the power of human psychology. When you understand how a male thinks, how a female thinks, it works wonders. And read books. You should, of course. But if you don't have habit, understand book summaries, go through videos. And Mark Gunger does nothing. He only understands that, okay, if I have to talk to a female, I have to talk in detail. How, what, when, why, everything I will answer first only. But when I talk to a male, I have to talk point to point. I don't have to give long, long stories. No. And that is why female complain, men don't listen to us. But why are you giving him details? Talk point to point, no? But because we don't understand psychology, we will have same approach for everybody. No. When you are talking online or offline or in any kind of a business, please understand, you have to understand how a male thinks and how a female thinks and the approach has to be different. You cannot be a robot. And once you do this, your 80% of work is done. Second, business psychology. People understand business strategies. People don't understand business psychology. For this, I will share one more book, which was a game changer for me. It is called Influence by Robert C. Aldini. I'm writing all the resources in the chat box. A person who's done PhD in how to influence people. And the person is teaching you seven universal triggers that you can apply in any business. Isn't that mind-blowing? Because we are spending so much of amount in the research and development, so much of time in you know, building teams, having business development executives. But you don't teach them these things. Psychology is a part of business, be it digital, be it offline. But first, you have to understand how a male thinks, how a female thinks. Second, you have to learn how business transformations happen and that happens when you understand business psychology. Please remember, any business is 80% psychology, 20% mechanics. You have to understand the business psychology. Give me, let me give an example. Today, what we are doing, we are understanding the business algorithm. Instagram works on reels. Initially, it was post and photos. YouTube was working on long form videos. <coughs> now it is working on shorts. Correct. LinkedIn started promoting. <coughs> sorry, LinkedIn started promoting videos. Correct. You have to understand the algorithm. You have to understand what is working. And if you do this, it will be wonders for you. Third and most important, this is where majority of digital leaders fail: communication psychology. Why do you communicate to humans like robots? Why can't you understand emotions? Why can't you understand what is their need? I will give you one more resource. Very easy to understand. Please research about this. It's called six human needs. Just Google six human needs on YouTube or on Google. You will understand. And if you don't use right words, you will not be able to create impact. And I'm going to give you one more uh, this thing. On Google, please type this, persuasive words. You'll get a list of 100, 200 words. Six human needs and persuasive words. Some words, they trigger the human mind. They trigger emotions. So when you understand how a male thinks, how a female thinks, when you understand seven strategies, which you can apply for all seven days, variety. When you apply six human needs, at least try to create two human needs psychologically. When you understand what words you're supposed to use, that will trigger them. That will help them be more decisive or probably help them in taking a good decision for buying a product or service. And most important, when you connect with them, it's a success. And within a short span of time, you can reach massive, massive amount of people. And once you learn this, I will give you a very simple formula. Connect, convey, convince. I'm writing everything in the chat box. Always, always first connect with people. Straight away, never ever go and convey, this is my product, this is my service, buy this, buy that. No. 
and to convey you have to learn human psychology business psychology and communication psychology and once you convey then the convincing part is easy but if you only convey you won't be able to convince them and you will sound more salesy and people don't want to be sold people want to be connected and that is why 80% of your time has to go in connection and that connection happens when you understand these three things but unfortunately people don't tell us that we have to learn this people will tell us oh you have to spend on ads oh you have to spend on big big websites oh you have to spend on brochures that all is okay but please teach us what is important something that we have to take it in the long run and why is it that everybody is copy pasting same strategy but not everybody is getting results that means we are not given full knowledge no something is hidden from us because everybody is spending everybody is trying to copy paste each other but not everybody is getting the result that means half knowledge and that is dangerous the secret is this in the entire session today even if you understand this slide you are halfway through your digital leadership is because people fail to understand that awareness is needed it's good to copy strategy but it's not good to exactly copy paste without understanding how this worked how is it working for them and not working for us and that happens when you do research please understand <coughs> leaders are polymath if you google this word polymath it says a person who knows a lot about a lot of subjects i am not saying become master of all and jack of none no i'm trying to say is have awareness and when you are establishing your personal brand you should know what is working you should understand algorithms you should understand if this content creator is able to you know gather crowd is able to attract massive followers what is it that the person is doing yes consistently posting content but the content is relatable the content is able to connect the creator is able to add value the creator understands what audience wants and that is why even if the creator is coming say thrice a week still the views are high not because they are beautiful or handsome no is because they are beautifully creating the content which people want and when you create relatable content people will share your content but if you don't learn if you don't have the habit of research if you don't upgrade yourself nobody will share your content and most important you will follow wrong methods and that will lead you to nowhere so please ensure that along with your research you are learning now we have understood six human needs we have understood the psychology part this is a game changer <laughs> you will find the seven online but i want to just tell you two three things regarding this slide any point of time you create any content online out of these six principles which i'll be explaining now try to use at least three minimum three you can make a note of it the very first thing <laughs> reciprocity if you give without expecting you will get massive in return don't expect just give value add value when you give you know selflessly through your content people will give back likes comments they will share your video they will invite you for speaking invites they will you know give you the massive love and care that you deserve only when you have given them enough value but if you are very different online and offline people will not trust you so the very first thing is reciprocity from today <coughs> till the coming <coughs> sorry 90 days ensure you are giving value without expecting anything just give i am not saying give give away everything for free at least 80% of your content at least something that you know people want but maybe they cannot afford something that they don't know and something that is you know a game changer for them <clears throat> because not everybody is going to create value but if you can you will see it's going to give you massive returns in your business <coughs> sorry second commitment if you are committed that in the coming 90 days minimum coming 90 days for minimum 90 days you are consistently going to post your content people will start building trust you know we have a, a very bad mentality saying that if i will post for two weeks people will start following me no 
In fact, after two weeks, you will be replaced. It's because somebody else in your journal is creating content regularly. It's okay if you post thrice a week. But if you break this consistency, people will not like you. People will not follow you. So if you are <coughs> committed for at least 90 days, you know, there's a very famous saying that 21 days is a habit, 90 days is a lifestyle. So for 90 days, you are creating an attachment that bond with your followers and your subscribers. But after that, you cannot stop doing that. But at least for 90 days, give them the trust that if you are following me, you will get value added content third social proof i told you to create you know content on whatsapp for 90 days what happens is when you showcase your work organically people will trust you initially we had brochures now we have websites now we have social media now we have vlogging people show their day you know by going in some meeting or getting some award or probably going in some speaking event or probably you know some customer testimonial or feedback the more <coughs> social proof you create in form of a video, <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm really sorry for this. The more social proof you <coughs> create, <it. coughs> apologies for this, the more social proof you create for your videos, the better your product will be selling organically. People trust you as a person when you are speaking, when your audience is speaking. A lot of times people have those testimonials written. It can be fake also, no? But can a video be fake? No. When your customers are speaking, when you are speaking, when you are showing your environment, when people are cheering for you, all these videos can't be fake. So please ensure you create enough social proof. Fourth and most important, if you are humble, if you have a very good personality, again, I'm not saying in terms of looks, I'm saying in terms of how authentic you are, people will like you. And when people like you as a person, they will trust you. They would want to do business with you. But if you are very kind online and you are the most rude person offline, people are not fools. I have seen a lot of creators, you know, the success comes here. So when they meet their followers or when they meet somebody offline, they are very arrogant, very aggressive. And then, of course, you will be unfollowed on social media is because people understood that you are fake. You are a fake person online and offline, you are the worst person to talk to. Please don't be that. If you are, no matter how successful creator you are, you have to be humble and you have to be genuine. If you are not, people will not like you. Fifth and most important, authority. I'll give you a secret for applying this strategy. If you work on your craft every day for 30 minutes, if you sharpen your skills, you will be the best authority in your subject. You don't have to be an author. You don't have to have millions of subscribers. You only have to have right knowledge. Again, I repeat, right knowledge. People have knowledge. People don't have right knowledge. And I told you today, if you have half knowledge, that is dangerous. You will spread wrong things. And please understand, when you have good number of subscribers and followers, whatever you say becomes a fact. That is why I'm saying, before you put any video content, please, please ensure you are putting the right content, researched content. Last but not the least, scarcity. Uh, is my screen stuck by any chance? Hello? Uh, it's visible, ma'am. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. It's visible, ma'am. Yeah, okay, it's thank visible. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> scarcity. If you are creating copy-pasted content, people will unfollow you. But if you are creating content which is not available anywhere, something that is rare and unique, and something that is in the need of the market, but nobody's creating, you will become rare. And that's the best secret of digital leadership. And like I said, out of the six, if you pick up three, you will be unbeatable. I'll give you three things which will actually, you know, help you with the coming 90 days. Point number two, commitment, being consistent for your videos. Okay. Point number three, social proof creating value-added content and seeing that and fifth authority if you ask me what i would start with i would start with these three things first is because anybody who follows me will test me how much i know am i worth following or probably you know if i am going to follow this person how authentic the person is has the person having any authority that is why if you see on instagram and linkedin 
after the person's name the designation is there not director trainer something no what is the designation are they entrepreneurs are they coaches are they astrologers etc whatever it is so your authority your commitment to post consistently and most important how much work have you done because if you say you're a beginner nobody will trust you it's like saying i've just you know learned about surgery let me try surgery on somebody people will not trust right you have to have experience so initially when you are coming to digital leadership commitment social proof and authority is something that you should start with and gradually focus on giving more focus on creating a likable personality and creating rare content that's the second priority but lot of people focus on being likable first no no matter how good looking you are if you are not creating value you will be unfollowed so don't focus on likes and numbers focus on how much value can you create on day to day basis now the most important part of today's session creator economy leadership this is a new term i would request all of you to please write this term down i'll be sharing this ppt but what i wanted to do is to do research on this topic from last one month i am doing research on this topic and i thought that i want to share my research with all of you this is the new term in the digital leadership please please ensure all of you become creators in whatever field you are doesn't matter what designation you hold but what matters is how much value can you create how much knowledge can you share and as per the data there are already 50 million creators across the globe our population itself is more than crores right more than 100 150 crores and even if 1% of the population becomes creator you have enough people to view your content and you have regional content now you have content in various fields and spaces but if everybody goes in dancing with the trend that will not happen you have to create valuable knowledgeable content right and for business point of view you have to create more knowledge about your business create more awareness and that will happen when you as a person will start creating videos not somebody else talking on your behalf most important thing again i'm telling you this is something new in india people are not understanding the value of it right now because they only judge by the numbers podcast is the future unfortunately there are no entrepreneurship podcast available in india people have global leadership podcast people have sales podcast people have love and relationship podcast people have all other podcast music everything no entrepreneurship and leadership based podcast in india there is a opportunity for you there are global podcast available but in india nobody is doing that this is the space where you can dominate you can create authority then you can you know network with masterminds and initially we wanted a studio and probably very good lighting quality and camera quality now via zoom record a podcast upload it see how technology has made things very simple but we always come up with self doubts we always come up with excuses not execution and let me tell you if you do nothing if you only record one podcast every day with different different masterminds of your field imagine the content you are creating and the best part is those people will share in their network that means even their audience is going to view your content you are creating a brand and most important you are doing something that nobody is doing people will create videos people are not creating podcast initially it was audio podcast now we have video podcast seeing is believing my dear friends and podcast is not just interview it's an intellectual discussion and you never know discussions can lead to good decisions good strategies good brainstorming and if any one question hits your customers or your audience overnight you will gain followers is because they've learned something from your 30 second video and if that 30 second video was so impactful they will go and watch your full podcast value added no creating authority and like i said in india nobody is doing so please create podcast and i told you in entrepreneurship segment 
people are not creating podcast i don't know why i started creating podcast with other krishna pillai who's india's number one business author he's my mentor i've learned leadership officially under him for two years and as a master's degree and we started creating content we started just documenting it that's it don't care about likes and followers see the watch time see how many people are listening to your podcast one podcast every week only one podcast i am not saying create podcast every day ha huh? try to record every day so that what happens is next time when you travel somewhere your content cannot take a break maybe you can take a break and then what will happen is the podcast will start working for you maybe is example this month now i'll give you my own example i was down with throat infection from last two weeks i could not travel <laughs> i had to cancel all my travel plans today also you saw between i was coughing so much i'm still recovering but what i did was last month i recorded four podcast already and that same podcast my team is editing putting reels on instagram and is now going to put every week one videos coming out i have shot this content last month which is now helping me i did not have a dream that you know i'm going to be down with throat infection right but uncertainty has happened but that did not stop my content and that's when i realized it's good to create backup it's good to create two months of content in advance the even if i'm not well even if i am traveling somewhere even if i am not available my content is not stopping doesn't matter how many views are coming it will take 700 days for a new content creator to come up but please ensure you are creating podcast of your field this strategy is going to work for the coming 2 3 years please don't compete collaborate i got a very good uh, formula for content creation collaboration and creativity collaborate for podcast use your creativity and you will find <coughs> amazing content lot of people have questions man see how will how can we create content podcast record a podcast have intellectual brainstorming done collaborate with people use your creativity have nice editing in place even if you don't edit that is okay raw content also works but collaboration works and you have so many people who have so much to share but we only run behind celebrities that's wrong you should not do that three books i would recommend for content creation and because i told you about creator economy leadership very first booming digital stars it's by mr manish pandey and harsh pamnani it talks about all the creators who have millions of followers and how they have come up just by consistent content creation we spoke about <coughs> personal branding so gary vaynerchuk this book also will help you a lot it's called crushing it it's on personal branding and third and most important it's influence <coughs> influence the economy sorry this book is costing nearly 15 to 18000 rupees the third book on amazon but it's worth reading and and i always recommend books that i read myself because if i only give you random books it won't help you but if there are books which are read in the market and which can actually actually create lot of value and make you understand the dynamics of the concept it will help you please ensure you have right mentors please ensure you have good self discipline i would suggest <laughs> instead of reading books read case studies like you know i told you do research every day for 30 minutes understand the case studies and i'll just go back to the slide this first book booming digital stars has case studies of these creators even the second book crushing it has case studies so what will happen is same you're reading 10 case studies out of the 10 case studies you have 10 strategies you will get idea you will get references please do not copy paste any strategy try to take a reference and maybe you can mix and match some strategies but try to experiment more don't just copy paste build a trusted personal brand the reason i'm emphasizing on trusted is many people have a blue tick mark in front of their name that does not mean they are trusted maybe people have a perception that oh it's a verified profile it's good the profile has to be verified but is your authenticity verified is your content verified are you really trustworthy that the audience will decide and last but not the least please learn human business and communication psychology if you are a content creator 
we are updating our apps regularly, but we are not updating our mindset and our learnings. You have to do that. Please develop research mindset. I would request, hum, I would humbly request everyone, please learn business psychology in detail and you will become a very extraordinary content creator. Most important, please understand the algorithm and the app. Every time it's going to be changing here and then, but definitely it is going to help you. And most important, you have to learn to be with the trend. Uh, I want to stop my presentation over here because I want to be open to question answers. This is my website and <clears throat> this is my Instagram page. You will find Instagram with two things. Uh, I create a lot of reels on leadership and Indian wisdom. I also started collaboration in podcast with other Krishna Pillai sir. And very soon I'll be having my YouTube channel. Right now, all videos are coming in collaboration because something which I have <laughs> learned from my mentors is I'm applying right now. And I only teach what I apply. So I'm learning collaboration. I'm applying that and it's working for me. Hence, in the presentation today, I tried to, you know, put that point as well. I will stop my presentation and I'm open to question answers now. <coughs> Sorry for this inconvenience. <laughs> there are a lot of messages in the chat box. I'll just go through till everybody's asking questions. A lot of personal appreciations are coming. Thank you so much. You all, are, you all have been very kind. Yes, podcast is the future. I help many Toastmasters to kickstart the podcast now. Very good. We have 53 around the world and mentored. Excellent. These books are interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I'm now open to question answers. You can ask as many questions as you want. Meanwhile, I'll just share the website in the chat box. Yeah. And also I'll share my video. <laughs> See, this is the video which again I created in collaboration, which went to nearly 1.5, 1.50,000. 1,50,000 plus views on YouTube um, at the current statistics. And uh, again, I'll show you the Instagram reels. Yeah, this is the Instagram link that you can click directly from the chat box. So you will be able to understand how even I'm experimenting with the content and uh, how collaboration is helping me, first of all. And most important, podcast is the future. And before anything you learn, you should understand the psychology aspects of it. And that will really help you a lot. Yes, I'm now open to questions. You all can um, unmute and ask questions. Yes, it is open to question. Uh, you may ask your questions if you have anyone. Yeah. Regarding social media, regarding whatever uh, Mansi has shared with you all. Yeah. Which platform is best for content? Create sharing on leadership related topics. Okay, so I am into leadership coaching. So what I'm experimenting right now, I'll tell you that I'm going with LinkedIn and Instagram as of now. And uh, what is happening is I'm getting a lot of feedback on Instagram. So after this feedback, like <laughs> after I finish my 90 days, that is in the coming month, in the month of October, then I will start with my YouTube, that is YouTube Shorts. So in leadership context, I was advised to start with LinkedIn. But first of all, start on Instagram. So I started with Instagram and that also in collaboration. So if you go and check my Instagram profile, you will see videos on leadership. You will see videos on Indian wisdom. That is Chanakya because I have learned Chanakya and you will see podcast again in collaboration. So what I'm doing is I'm experimenting with my target audience because youth is my target audience in leadership and startups. So what they, they gave me feedback that, you know, we like this podcast more or we want more Indian uh, wisdom or we want leadership concepts from so-and-so book or can you uh, uh, review a book for us or can you, you know, bring uh, this guest on your podcast. So what happens is I collect all those feedbacks and then accordingly I create the next uh, concept or the next uh, batch of uh, video creation that I'm doing. 
and on linkedin what i did was i tried with video content but what happened was again there people are expecting more of collaboration so again i started doing podcast initially it was solo videos but then people said go for podcast because we are liking this content of yours and even when you study the analytics it showed more impressions com- compared to solo videos on linkedin i'm talking about my profile so that's what worked so initially instagram to get feedback and <coughs> linkedin and then after you finished your 90 days then you switch to youtube <coughs> oh thank you so much this this means a lot Yes. yes. Next question. Anyone have? I'll I'll tell you a small uh, thing regarding the Big Brain video which I've shared with you. Um, Big Brain has been very kind to you know put me as a content creator. Uh, I still don't have my YouTube channel, but uh, they they just came on one thing. They saw the profile. They saw my screen presence, and that's what helped me. And the video which you just saw that was created by the entire Big Brain team, and I understood one thing is that you know in content creation your confidence and your content, if it's in sync and if you really add value, you will get opportunities. And I really feel blessed with Big Brain is because you have seen they have nearly more than eight lakh followers and the kind of content they are creating. So it's like just start doing, you will get opportunities. Yeah, <laughs> I think there are more questions. yeah can you please suggest the best method to learn human business communication yeah okay so for human psychology i told you mark ganger videos or you can also type book summaries on human psychology there are a lot of book summaries available second of all the book which i have recommended to you please read that book first or understand the video you need to first do your research and only you will understand this and for communication psychology you can understand six human needs or there's one more concept called <coughs> nlp neuro linguistic programming loved your presentation i only up, uh, teach what i apply thank you <laughs> thank you so much see because if i only give you theory the presentation will look nice but it won't be connected like you won't connect right so better i teach you something which i have applied and if i have got results then i can tell you yeah i have authority to teach you but if i only pick up from somewhere and give you something that will not help so thank you for your feedback i think uh, the best the yeah can you elaborate on nlp how it is helpful so when i was doing my train the trainer uh, i was told that you have to learn nlp for your presentation neuro linguistic programming so i had learned nlp in terms of public speaking but i also understood authors best selling authors content creators in the 30 second video they apply nlp they have those visuals and editing they have those massive dialogues to you know attract the auditory people and they generate emotions kinesthetic right so nlp is used even in content creation it's just that you have to have more observation skills so i had learned in terms of public speaking but i understood how things were helping yeah simran Thank you, ma'am. This session is helpful. Thank you so much. In fact, you should thank Mr. Raj. He has been very kind to approach me and get this session done. So all the credit goes to Mr. Raj for organizing this session. Any more question? Anyone have? <laughs> yeah. Any more question? Anyone have? Ask. I'm sorry for this unexpected coughing, but yeah, I was just praying I should deliver this session properly because even last time I could not. So this time I was very firm that no matter what happens, I will deliver this session. Yeah, I have one question, Mansi. I just wanted. Yeah, to please ask. ask. Yeah. So uh, there is very common. Uh, we can say a very common way of understanding and thinking that we should be away from social media we should not be into social media there's very common fact <laughs> which we yeah. we get learned from surroundings yeah but here whatever we are learning how to leverage social media for our self or personal growth and to be in the professional world so what would you like to say to those who have such mindset to transform those mindset from to be away from social media to be on social media 
see again it defines your purpose are you on social media for just mindlessly scrolling the videos and doing time pass or you know for some people it's stress buster right but i would say if you create good contents on social media and if you can become a valid reason for people to actually utilize social media you will change perceptions it always starts with what is the purpose today a lot of people say don't don't have time like i said you know but you put on whatsapp everybody will go and watch your status similarly people say they don't have time but they are updated with the latest movie trailer the song and everything how are they finding time is there is lack of purpose there is lack of understanding and clarity so i would suggest that you know perceptions change but if you can be a game changer if you can give a valid reason for people to come and watch social media content people will watch you people will watch what you're doing is because that is adding value so again if the purpose is right it will help if there is no purpose it's just the mindless scrolling that is happening and you will not realize 2 3 hours are gone because people don't remember what they are seeing but they are just getting entertained so yeah yes that is very like Thank you, ma'am, for this wonderful session with lots of tips. Thank you so much. You should thank Mr. Raj, not to me, because he he is the reason for the session that has happened today. So, I want all of you to please give a digital clapping to Mr. Raj. Uh, excellent coordination, and he has been that you know he wanted to do something for the club, and he said he wanted to have a very different session, and we came up with this topic. So, the credit goes to him completely. Mr. Vikas, thank you, ma'am, for a wonderful session, and thanks, Raj, for organizing. Yes, thanks, Mr. Raj. Thank you so much. I I would like to say something. I think I missed it completely because I was uh, at a meeting for the Iroli Club. You know, it has a competition. Raj, no could share this particular recording if you have with me later on. Yes, Kalpana, we will have uh, the. thank you because yeah, you both the timings clashed and i just uh, couldn't come in as i had planned thank you so much raj looking forward to the recording and mansi i like the last input of yours we do end up scrolling a lot without <laughs> purpose and then actually crib that it is a time dazzler you know the mobile or the smartphone yeah. thank you for that one little point of yours that tells us that we can use it wisely thank you absolutely thank you thank you so much thank you kai rajiv yeah rajiv yeah kanli uh, kanli ko hai yeah i i think yeah, kalpana heard my mind i was having the same thing in my mind when i just joined almost at the end of the session so i think yeah thank you kalpana again yeah, for <laughs> reading out my mind but i have a a sexy question along with as you mentioned about nlp i would like to know more about yeah what are the key things uh, in nlp that we can go ahead and give ourselves i have learned the basics of it so i am not the right person to answer this but uh, i can say like i learned from the perspective of public speaking but uh, you need the right kind of trainers to teach you nlp i have learned from two three different trainers but uh, unfortunately uh, it was all online and even in those days we had those international trainers coming and teaching us for like one or two days so if you find the right person to teach you i think you should learn it but don't just go on what is uh, taught randomly no yeah i saw uh, like yeah, in our organization we do have the nlp <laughs> trainings which is like yeah, online but it's not like yeah, from the trainer you have what courses that you can attend so just thinking like yeah, as i heard yeah, yeah, please, please 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 yeah. go ahead see uh, uh, like what i do is you know i never learn from one person for one particular subject i learn from two three different people because everybody has something or they are different to teach you yes so you get different perspectives you get better understanding and that one concept three different people teach in three different manners so you have a better way of understanding so be it nlp be it podcast be it anything never depend on one trainer learn from different different people have different ideas and then as per the understanding do your research also never blindly follow anybody uh, there is a trainer called ashraf he is very famous in mumbai perhaps you can just google him up i had done my nlp training from him and he had got in international trainers for the same uh, if you check i hope it helps and mansi thank you for that tip of you know having to multiple trainers and yes everyone has a different perspective i think yes. i'll follow <laughs> thanks for that 
Thank you, thank you. Because that helps, you know, what happens is when we only learn from one particular person, you are limiting your knowledge and learnings, correct? Yes. And never have that mindset that you have to only learn from one person. No, learn from everybody. Some Somebody, something different will come up. Yes. That is completely true, yes. Uh, when we approach different trainers, we always get new perspectives of same learning which we have. Correct, yes. Yes. Great. So, uh, thank you so much, everyone. And thank you so much, Mansi. Thank for, you. Uh, taking us uh, your time, sharing your knowledge, your experience with every one of us. It Thanks to you. Good Thanks good. to you for organizing this. Thank you. And thank you to all wonderful participants. None of them have dropped in the entire session. I was seeing the consistent participation. So really means a lot. And on a Sunday morning, you all are here to learn. That actually shows you are capable digital leaders. And I would say the future digital content creators. So thank you so much for your valuable time. I am thankful to the audience for their valuable time. Definitely, 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 Mansi. Uh, there is a presentation certificate for you. Uh, can you give me a moment sure. for your uh, valuable effort which you have given to every one of us? I think is it it's visible. Okay. Yeah. Okay, great. So this is a small token of appreciation, uh, Mansi, for uh, sharing your uh, wisdom with every one of us and being a uh, part of the uh, leadership summit of Chalk Industrial Toastmasters Club, Mansi. And it's really great pleasure and really we all are really grateful to you for your presence and sharing your thoughts and exploring and helping everyone in their leadership journey so that they can be a better leader in the future. Thank you. Thank Mansi. you so much. I would love to put this on my LinkedIn if you give permission. Definitely, yes. It's all yours now. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Means a lot. Thanks, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, Mark. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Alpna. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Alpna. So with this, uh, we conclude this segment, Session 4, Digital Leadership of Leadership Summit. We have Session 5 and Session 6 today at 5 p.m. onwards. So you can join by 4.30 if you feel free, uh, if you wish. So see you. Uh, and thank you so much, everyone, for being with us. Thank you so thank, much. Thank you so much. And thank you, Mr. Raj, once again. It was an honor to speak at Toastmasters Club. And I hope to see you all very soon. Thank you so much. Yes, definitely. Thank you so much, everyone. And thank you so much. See you. Have a great day. Thank Have you. a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.